This is the 2019 Las Vegas Sun High School Football Media Day. We're here at the beautiful Red Rock Resort, and we'd like to thank our friends at Bok Bok Chicken with their fresh Mediterranean food. This is the 10-time defending Nevada State champion, Bishop Gorman Gales, Coach Kenny Sanchez, quarterback Micah Bowings, and wide receiver Rome Adunze. Coach Sanchez, how's it looking so far? Give us a quick scouting report. It's looking good. Um, you know, boys are, uh, we've been going for a while now, like we do every year. Um, but this year, you know, it just feels like there's a little something different. Uh, you know, we've, uh, we, had a, we had a great year, contrary to what people thought about last year. If your last game is a state title and you win it, then um, that's pretty successful. And from that, though, I think the guys are still hungry after that game. And I think they want something to prove. They want to prove something. Um, and, but I think it's based more about how hard they work. So um, we're in full tilt right now. Uh, we go play a game tomorrow. Um, they're that prepared and uh, you know they're that ready to go. Yeah, I think lost along the way last year was uh, how good your team went from game one to, to game 15. What, what for you was the, the most significant upgrade or change or improvement in, in your roster or in the way you guys performed? Yeah, you're right. I mean, you know, game one, obviously we didn't play nowhere near as good as we wanted to. But uh, if you ask these guys or anybody else who followed us along the way, I mean, we, we really did get better from week one to week two to week three. You know, by that week four game, we're playing uh, De La Salle, who's the top 10 team in the country, and we lose to them by six in a game that we could have won. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, to, to start one and two and to go on the road and play a team of that caliber and obviously still lose the game and not do what we want to do, but we felt really good about, about where we were at that time. We went on a good run, and like I said, we won state. Um, and I think the biggest improvement is just how we felt after that year and what we still want to um, improve on and get better. Um, so I think the leadership going into this year, I think the, uh, the tools that we built from the year before that, that we put in our backpack, ready to climb this bigger mountain. I think it's not anyone that's joined the team or younger guys that are coming up. I think it's these guys that played last year that understand where we were um, not too long ago and where we are trying to go right now. Yeah, uh, Rome, uh, a tough schedule. Again, you guys were playing uh, three teams that won state championships last year. Um, from, how does that tough schedule, those, those really solid opponents, help get you guys ready for, for the rigors of the playoffs? Um, it just makes us work harder and pushes us, you know, to go day in and day out to the, you know, work so that when we're in the, in the moment playing the game that we execute. Um, you know, Gorman never hides from an opponent, so we have a tough schedule every year, so the guys expected it. And it just gives us confidence knowing that, you know, Coach would uh, schedule something like that because he has the confidence in us to go out there and execute. So. Mm -hmm. Here locally uh, in Nevada, you haven't lost to a Nevada team since 2008, probably like in kindergarten and give or take. Um, knowing that you're going to get everybody's best shot on Friday night, um, does that change the way you prepare knowing that there might be somebody who's trying to get a scholarship by defending you or a team that's trying to, you know, make Nevada history basically by being Mormon? Right. Um, well, we prepare, you know, every game the same, mostly, you know, we know we're, we're we got an opponent against us, you know, we know they're going to give us all we got, so we go out there and prepare like uh, we're going to go against the number one team in the nation uh, week in and week out, just because, you know, we expect greatness from ourselves, so we push, us, we push ourselves to that extent. Sure. Uh, Micah, uh, the Gorman defense is, of course, great uh, going against guys like Brian Sertain in practice. How does it help you as the offense knowing that you're going to see a really quality you know, defense when, when you guys are just going through your drills? Uh, you know, it gives me a real, like, game speed situation. And uh, our defense ain't no joke. So, you know, uh, getting to work with them every day is getting me used to being able to go against the teams that we're going to end up playing. And I just think our defense, you know, yeah, I think for me with the defense, Coach Sanchez, which you've called since day one, since you guys got there, is the fact when you guys were struggling along a little bit, struggling in air quotes, of course, um, I think defensively held you guys together for a little bit until the offense caught up. What, what is it about the defense that makes it so good year in and year out? Yeah, I mean, I just call it defense. I don't know anything about offense, but, uh, you know, <laughs> this smart man always told me, hey, do what you're good at. Don't do what you're not good at. So I always stay away from that side of the ball. Um, honestly, I, I think it's the attitude that, uh, that we try to go into every practice with, not games, but every practice with leading up to the game about, you know, really trying to get after teams and, um, you know, running at a fast pace and, you know, not being a team that's defending, but a defense that's attacking. 
Uh, we wanted to control the pace of the game because I know more times than not, the offense is, you know, they got to step up. They, you know, they know the snap count. They know what the play is. Um, they can control the pace a little bit. We're trying to do the same things on the opposite side by slowing them down, try to keep the game on our side of the ball. Um, and then you got to be able, you got to be able to tackle great, um, and then you got to be able to cause turnovers. And it's just something that we try to preach every single day of practice. Uh, but it all starts with attitude. Our guys on defense. If you're going to start that starting eleven, uh, you're going to be you know, a tough son of a gun. All right, last question, Micah. Prediction for the season? Undefeated. All right, you heard it first here. Bishop Gorman, undefeated. And we'll talk to everybody later. Las Vegas Sun High School Football Media Day.